So you've created a landing page or a website and it looks really professional. Congratulations. Now you want to take it to the next level and add your own custom domain so it's easy for users to find it. If you're on one of the MailerLite paid plans, you can change the URL and add your own custom domain. So we've created a landing page and now we want to add our own custom domain to it so it's easy for users to find it. If you're on one of our paid plans, you can change the URL and add your own custom domain. Step one, navigate to the settings page and click on the domains tab. Then scroll down to sites and click add domain. Lastly, enter the custom domain you wish to connect. Remember that if your root domain is already in use, you'll need to type a subdomain when entering the URL so it doesn't override the existing content of your website. Now let's quickly go over domain requirements. If your custom domain doesn't have a website built on it yet, you'll be able to use your root domain. For example, for presentationonly.com is my root domain, but I have a website connected to this domain already, so I'll need to create a subdomain and use that URL as my landing page address. Now, to create a subdomain, you will need to first log in to your domain provider, go to your cPanel, and create it there. And if you don't know how to do that, I suggest contacting your domain provider and asking them to help you figure it out. Now, after we've added the domain here, we will need to link it to the MailerLite server. Copy the name and value fields. Now you'll need to create an A record and add these values to the DNS record on your domain provider account. If you're adding a root domain, Type in your domain first and then continue to the next step to obtain the A record. My last IT suggestion is if you currently don't have a website hosted on your domain, select the option to redirect your www traffic to the domain you are connecting to. This will give the option to add a CNAME record as well as an A record. It basically creates a shortcut URL, so your visitors won't need to type www in the address field when you add both the A name and the C name records to your DNS page. Now, don't worry, your visitors will get to this page whether they type www or if they just type the URL without www. Once the records have been correctly set up with their respective name and value fields, click Check DNS Records. It may take up to 24 hours for your DNS settings to become active worldwide, and it depends on your domain provider. Now, as you can see, your SSL certificate is automatically approved by the system, and we're good to go. Thanks for watching. Make sure to click the bell button below so you don't miss any new tutorials. You can also find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and subscribe to our newsletter. The link is in the description section below. Have an awesome day or night and I'll see you in the next video.